know because there's so many more sources, so many more conversations. There's many ways you can connect with your marketplace and with the journalists that are covering your story that's meaningful to the marketplace. This nifty little graph shows you all the different ways journalists are getting sources now. You can see it's just not a press release anymore. And even press releases have become social media driven with a lot of optimization, a lot of keywords, a lot of content. That little three commandments, my three takeaways. And before I dive into these three commandments, you're going to see they're journalist centric. I'm going to take a second, I'm going to tell you why journalists more than ever matter in the social media, meeting, public relations universe that we live in. First of all, because there's so many conversations, so much going on, it's easy for your message to get lost. The good thing about journalists, it's their job to be objective. It's their job to be prepared. It's their job to do research. If they decide that you have something newsworthy to share with their audience, they are bringing credibility, objectivity, and research to your story. That's more meaningful than your aunt deciding you have a great company, and she's going to post something on Facebook. Not that we don't love when our relatives do that. <laughs> Not only that, they have a following through their publication. And often they're involved in social media, so their Twitter account, their Facebook, their LinkedIn, so they're meeting out in the social media world too. Their story about you is getting out to a lot of places with credibility, with research, and with focus. So those journalists are important, you just have more ways to meet them thanks to the integration of social media and public relations.